What's up, YouTube? We're back. This time we're going to be showcasing the new map, Glacier. We're going to get an in-depth look, my reactions, what to expect, and will this map be good? You know, what, what, do I think it'll be able to be very competitive? All right, we're going to get right into it. All right, we're going to get into this. I'm going to let this play through the first time and the second time. We'll go back through it and uh, we'll go from there. So this is Rogue Company's new map, Glacier. Check it out. Here we go. This is on their uh, Rogue Company's uh, YouTube page. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Here we go. Director, transmission coming in from the away team we sent to investigate the domain. It's that cable ship up in the Arctic. The unmanned one. This transmission is highly encrypted. It looks like the sender is glitch? He's intercepted enemy communications. Patching through now. Hello, base. This is Jackal-1. Rogue Company has been detected in the area of operation. They appear to be in a holding pattern. We're continuing our intrusion of the ship's network. Its systems will be offline for weeks. Our back door into the International Finance Network is in place. EVAC is standing by. We're ready for them this time. I assure you, it won't be another lockdown. Director, I'm going to authorize our team to retake the ship. Rogues, you're cleared for combat. Take back the domain. All right, take back the domain. We will, and this time, let's break it down. Number one, did you hear what Glitch said? Let's listen to what he says right here. Let me see if I can find the spot. Take a listen. Retake the ship. Oh. They're locked down. Ready for them this time. I assure you, it won't be another lockdown. It won't be another lockdown. I do not think... That that's by mistake. I think that is on purpose. That is because on lockdown, currently everybody runs inside and we all fight for the hill inside in competitive and in ranked. That is the hill everybody plants on. It is the, the best hill to plant on. And I think a whole half of the map we don't use. There's a whole half of that map uh, lockdown. We do not use it all. We only use this half. And so... I think that's a reference that they made sure that this map was balanced and had plenty of flanking opportunities, plenty of uh, just opportunities in general to not have to be stuck at one spot. So let's also, so this will not be another lockdown. I caught it high res. I'm listening, Scott Gandhi. Radar, I'm on to you guys. All right. Number two, let's break this down even more. So what I'm seeing. Oh, number two, they said the jackal. Let's see, can I start the beginning? Uh, oh, yeah, let's go here. We'll, we'll go here. So the Jackal is the new group that are going to be apparently opposing the rogues. I am starting to figure out some things. I've actually recorded this video once, and afterward, I've now listened more. I've paid more attention to this, and now I understand. This is the Jackal plane, I believe, that they'll be hopping out of, okay? And from what I can tell, here's the plane that we're hopping, that the road company or whatever will be hopping out of. Um, we don't really see a path here that they're hopping to, but obviously, we're hop I feel like we're going to be hopping in this direction. Here's our landing zones. Apparently, this I think this will be the other landing zone or somewhere roughly the same spot because you're going to be basically flip making the map uh, even. So this is where that'll be. So, yes, I think this is Jackal's. So, okay, here's the thing. Right now we have Alpha Squad, Bravo Squad. Okay, if anybody's ever paid attention. Offense, defense. Now, we, we, this is the way it's going to be. I, this is what I'm pretty sure of. The more I'm listening, the more I'm paying attention, the more I'm studying, I'm pretty sure of this. We're going to have a Jackal team and a Rogue Company team. So, one team's going to have the Jackal logos on them, and one team's going to have the Rogue Company logos. And so that is what I am suspecting. I could be totally wrong. Let me know down in the comments if you agree with that part. Also, I want to look at these very, very important zip lines uh, that I think are going to be ex extremely important in this game. Let's break it down. I'm going to mute this now so that way we can kind of know what's going on. Oh, this might be a good side profile, maybe. Will it tell us much? Okay, so here's our ships. We can actually see that in the overhead. Um, okay, let's just, let's just play through this real quick and I'll let this part play so I can kind of get an overhead view. There's the helicopter. Here's our little ships. There's a zip line. Boom, boom. Okay. 
Um, little building. Okay, now we're going like here. See, here's our zip line here. Little opening down there to possibly flank other teams to, to go to the spot. Who knows? I think this zip line we're going to land. I think this is near a landing area we're going to be in. Uh, we'll look at that here in a second again in the overview. There's a little zip. Zoop, and go right in there. Maybe they get you to a spot real quick. Maybe great spot for Lancer. Now we are on the, I think we might be on the other side of the ship. Let me double check that real quick. Because there's the, if you look, we see these satellite dishes. So we'll be able to know. More on this side. See, there's a satellite dish on one side, covering on that side. So this is the covering side. Uh, and then this is the satellite dish side, panel side, whatever you want to call it. Here's the inside. Here's our aquarium. I've pretty much figured out what this looks like in the overhead view in the beginning. Um, one thing I do want to notice, this is kind of a hop over spot that we see in canals. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. We're going to have a a repeat area. I'm guessing, I promise you, if you're watching this video, make sure somebody's not hiding in this bar because I'm promising you sometime, somewhere, somebody's going to be hiding in that. Uh, I see these clocks. I don't know if they'll have any significance. I'm sure somebody, if there is significance, is nerding out right now telling me how wrong I am for not paying attention to these clocks. But um, a lot of developers like to do stuff like that. So I'm guessing there might be a significance there. Go ahead, the ocean star. There's an op okay, so here's an opening through here. Wall, so they'll be fighting. Oh, okay, so you'll be able to sneak through this door behind the bar. W, got that all figured out, so it's not going to be that much of a hiding spot, but I can just see my Dima bomb going in there and destroying everybody. Here's our aquarium. You can see a little bit of a door here. I'm trying to angle a server room. Uh, this is all inside. The more server room, there's stairs there. Okay, I figured out where these hall. There's a hallway like this on both sides. Kind of figured out what that looks like, what to expect. Yep, so there's the hallway. Here's the center console. So we were we were on the other side of this hallway a second ago. So now there's a lot of good fights could happen right here. I can see a lot of fun uh, gunfights through this area. There's our copter. I don't know if we're going to see much significance there. I want to make sure nothing crazy is happening on my phone. Okay. There's uh, this is where the cable, because this is a cable ship, right? So here's where the cable is being wound up or charged or whatever. You can see up the cable there. See some openings there, possible flanking opportunities. People going wide, getting in fights here. Looking around. Okay, so here's some more zip lines figure out where these zip lines okay so we went to the front of the ship i'm not sure exactly where this one is. well probably i'll figure it out in a second see this bk12 box i've seen that in another shot unless they're just using that model uh consistently throughout here not there not there right here oh that's bk125 i'm nerding out sorry guys i hope you guys are enjoying this this extreme breakdown I'm trying to figure out. That's a BK-12 box, so that's not the same. That'll be, be a box, I'm sure, for um, any kind of engagements. Looks like we'll have plenty of cover. Nades are going to be huge. Dima is going to be huge, in my opinion. Here's a quick flyby. Okay, so there's our little submarine ship, so to speak. Okay, a little, well, okay, so up here by the helicopter, some stairs going up and down. Multi-level fights, maybe? That'd be kind of crazy. People sitting up here shooting, rolling back. This is where snipers, I think, are going to be aiming to get to this high point. Could be sniping down these aisles. There's our little outside thing here. Here's our zip line. Zip line. All right. See the ship in the front. Domain. The domain. Okay. Going overhead again. Here we go. Uh, yep, this is what I need. Let me make sure this is that graphics played out. Okay, good. So we're gonna. Ha so once again, here's my beliefs. We there'll be a row company team and a jackal team. The jackals are gonna jump out of this pretty neat ship here. Us being row company, 
We're going to be hopping out. We're going to be laying in here. Here's our center area. Here's our red hallway. I assume this is going to be a red hallway, too. Um, this is... I wonder which side is the front of the ship. I wonder if it has any spellings to be sure of which side is... The copter side, which side is the cable side? I'm not seeing any telling things. Actually, I don't. I was thinking maybe these are staircases here, but and not be 100% for sure. I'm going to guess that this is the front. I don't know that it really matters, though. At that point, I guess it does. Here's, oh, yeah, here's our satellite array. So this is the front. Yep. This is the front with the helicopter. So we're going to jump out of here, land here. They're going to jump out of here, land there. We're going to go through. We're going to aim for these areas, hit the zip line, go in here. Like I said, this red hallway, I think, is going to be a big fighting area. That appears to be the case. This is going to be our Lancer's route for going around. Or here, possibly. Our snipers are going to be trying to get back here, fight it out, possibly flank with sniper. Or they land, maybe look through these areas. Try to pick them off. So this map is going to play like this direction, not this direction. Which I originally thought it would play this direction, but now the more I pay attention, the more studying I've done, I've realized that that's not the case. Here's our zip lines over these boats. I think each side had zip lines. I'm not sure what significance we're going to see out of that, except for maybe our snipers landing, hitting this, trying to get quick flanks, maybe getting here, trying to hold people through these areas potentially. It's kind of hard to see the level um, side of this. Because it is like multi-level in some spots. I think these are your hopovers that I was just signifying. Uh, these might... Let me look real quick. I want to think here. So where's the bar at, do I think? Hmm. This kind of looks like a bar. Me, like right here, but... Can't be for sure. Kind of looks like that's where the bar would be almost. But that's kind of a stopping point. Actually, I think it's, uh, the hall came like that. That's the aquarium, I bet. I bet this is it. And that's the hop over. I don't know. I might be completely wrong about this, but that's kind of what I'm seeing. I'm just trying to pay attention, look. But I think the way we saw that, that spot, let's look at it. See the window here, here's the bar. Oops, sorry. Too far. The aquarium's back here. So the aquarium's kind of sitting back. Domain's there. I mean, yeah, they're gonna come through go this way, go that way. You know, just a wall, really. Well, it may appear just like a wall on the overview. I think that could be it. This be the aquarium. I'm through. Yep, I feel like that's. Hmm. Maybe it's right here. I don't know. Anyway, I think this map is going to be big for chalk. I think it's going to be big for any rogue with a shotgun. I think that we're going to get a lot of close in fights, especially in this area. Big sir, I, I, I honestly think this map is going to be pretty good. Originally, I thought this map was going to be bad for our snipers. The more I'm paying attention, the more I'm feeling like this is going to be more. I think that just about any rogue is going to be able to have a place at this map. Sigrid, I think, is going to be huge. I think this is a big reason why we're seeing her release with this map. I think with her shield, with her being able to walk behind it, shoot, with her being able to use her stem, uh, all the many perks that she has, tenacity, that's going to help her survive. Lifeline, people are going to go down early in this map. Lifeline's going to help her get them up quickly. Um, I think it looks like a good map. It looks like pretty balanced. I like the way how everything, like these zip lines, I think are going to be a huge part. The zip lines into the window. That was so smart to do it on the side you land on. And it'll help also with the flanking opportunities because you'll be able to possibly quickly get behind someone in an area that they won't be expecting. Um, it'd be nuts. This map's going to play nuts. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. 
I cannot wait for it to come out. I'm not sure exactly what the release date, if they've released it at this point or not. But you can see here's our little boats sitting here, and that's how I can kind of tell what's going on there. But I really think the big change, the one thing we're going to notice is when you're on the Jackal side, you're going to be on a different ship. And I think this is the ship, because why else would they have it here? This is random ship sitting here. It kind of reminds me of what we got going on with the Road Company ship, you know? So here we go. Alpha, Alpha and Bravo are gone. And Row Company and Jackal are in. This game is growing. It is getting its feet underneath this. We're seeing it go from an infant to at least a child to a teenager at this point. And um, it's exciting. It's exciting watching this game grow, get bigger. And I'm really enjoying it. I hope everybody else is enjoying it. And if you're enjoying this video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe down below if you're new. And ring the bell if you feel lucky. And hey, leave me a comment. Let me know. Am I crazy for thinking all this stuff? Did I miss something? Have I missed, you know, where the aquarium is? Do I, did I miss a rogue that you think will be really big? I think Dallas will be big. Being able to snap and be able to find anybody on the map uh, or somebody close, obviously. But I think that's going to be huge. But if you like this, once again, leave me a comment. I would love to hear your side of this. And uh, without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.